Guys, make some noise for Sap Powers, everybody. Hey, everybody, my name's Sap Powers, and my parents are my best friends. <laughs> I'm not just saying that because they're here. I'm not just saying that because my mom invited all of her friends. They seriously are my best friends, you guys. I compared them to all my other friends, and they're so much better. Whenever they give me a ride somewhere, they never ask for gas money. They let me crash at their place whenever I want. 27 years I've been crashing there so far. My best friends, they even take me out to dinner. And I found out a secret way you can tell how fancy a restaurant is, okay? It's all about the salt and pepper. If there's no salt and pepper, that's a very shitty restaurant. <laughs> If they have salt and pepper, but it's in those little paper packages, that's still a pretty shitty restaurant. <laughs> then once you get into the OK restaurants, they got salt and pepper in those little glass salt and pepper shakers. Then once you get to the fancy restaurants, they don't even have pepper shakers, they got pepper grinders. Each restaurant only has one pepper grinder and it's sacred, the customers aren't allowed to touch that shit. <laughs> and the fancier the restaurant is, the bigger the pepper grinder gets. <laughs> One time I was at a restaurant so fancy, there was two guys carrying on their shoulders. I feel like the fanciest restaurant in the world is just the giant pepper grinder that you eat inside of. So are there any servers in the audience? I don't know if there are, because it's impossible to get their attention. They just avoid making eye contact with you because they don't want to come to your table. You're not allowed to stab your fingers, you can't yell, that's rude. So what I do, is every time I try to make eye contact with a server, and I can tell they're avoiding eye contact on purpose, I move my glass just a little bit closer to the edge. So if it's a really bad server, eventually it'll get all the way to the edge. And they'll come over to clean it up, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But since you're over here, can I please get some more pepper? I feel like my mom's told me a million fucking times not to exaggerate. She also told me, if you have diarrhea, you need to get your shit together. I feel like I never really put full effort into sharing a chair. I kind of just like half-assed it. Someone told me to make them a sandwich, so I made them a witch out of sand. That's my favorite joke, I'm never going to stop saying it, no matter how many times I don't get laughed. I also like to get drunk a lot, and I always spill my drinks because I can't hold my liquor. I feel like I have a lot of dirty thoughts. I still don't want to be brainwashed, though. Did you guys know jellyfish don't have brains? It's okay, though. They don't mind. One time, this guy asked me to count to three. I was like, hey, man, I don't have to count to three if I don't want to. I was like, word. He's like, no, that's a number. <laughs> uh, do you guys think they use a miracle whip to punish Jesus? <laughs> I feel like cookies and cream ice cream should just be called cookies ice cream. It's not even a joke, it's just logical. <laughs> garbage as long as some of them is sweeping. <laughs> I hate when someone tells me to remind them to do something because they can't remember it on their own. They'll be like, hey man, remind me to do that thing. So I'll just be like, hey man, remind me to remind you to do that thing. <laughs> I also hate it when someone tells me to dry the dishes. It's like the only chore that if you don't do, still just eventually gets done on its own. <laughs>